Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Nabil and this is my video assignment for in class assignment 2, question number 2. Here is the question. A point charge with the mass of 1 grams at the end of an insulating string of length 55 centimeters is observed to be in equilibrium in a uniform horizontal electric field of 12,000 newtons per column when the pendulum's position is as shown below with the charge 12 centimeters above above the lowest vertical position as in figure 1. If the field points to the right, determine the magnitude and sign of the point charge. So this is the so, so this is figure 1 of the question. So we need to find the charge of this point here. So you see the electric field moves to the right and we exert a force it will exert a force to the charge here. So the charge will be equilibrium here. We can draw a free body diagram to represent all the forces involved in the diagram. So there are three forces involved, which is the electric force, which moves to the right, the gravitational force, which pulls the ball, which pulls the point charge downward, and the tension force of the string. So we can, we, <coughs> we can, uh, we we can dissociate the tension force into T X and T Y. So we see that Tx is equal to Fe and Ty is equal to Mg. So, we rearrange all the equation. Tx equals T sine theta for the theta here. And Ty is T cos theta. So, Q equals T sine theta over E. And we substitute T, which is here, into this equation to get the Q. So, Q equals Mg over cos theta times sine theta divided by E which is equivalent to mg tan theta divided by e. To calculate tangent theta, we must find the opposite side and the adjacent side. So we can see the adjacent, the, the adjacent side here is 43 centimeters, which is, which is 55 minus 12, which is 43. And the opposite side, we can use Pythagoras theorem to get 34.3 centimeters. So we substitute substitute the opposite side and the adjacent side into the equation. So we have Q equals M, 1 gram or 1 times 10 power of negative 3 kilogram, G, 9.8 meters per second squared, tangent theta, 34.3 centimeters divided by 43 centimeters, divided by 12, uh, the E, 12,000 newtons per column, which we get 6.51 times 10 power of negative 7 column. The sign here is positive because we see the direction of the electric force is the same direction as the direction of the electric field. So we can say that this point charge here is positive. So the correct answer is positive 6.51 times 10 power of negative 7 column. That's all for the question number 2.